Good morning, Cape. I'm Jack. I'm Jace. And today is January 9th, and welcome to the Cape Report. On today's show, we have news about the school and a Clom class report. And now to the show. On the main lunch line today, we got a banger for you guys. We have Salisbury steak, whipped potatoes, beef gravy, vegetable soup, and assorted fruit. Health Career Pathways hosting the Delmarva Blood Bank Blood Drive on January 13th in the parking lot. If you donated earlier in the year, you are still eligible to donate at this drive. To schedule an appointment, Go to their link. Our wellness center organizes meetings to support students who have been impacted by alcohol abuse. Ala Teen sends a trained representative to CAPE to facilitate the meetings. Ala Teen has one purpose, to help young people affected by someone else's drinking. Your anonymity will be respected. For more information, check in with the Wellness Center or the Guidance Counselor. Don't forget about the after-school academic support from 2.45 to 5.30. Check out the chart and see when this can work for you. And now to the Comcast Report. Hey guys. Welcome to the Clomscast moment. This week's episode is what's one crazy thing you've seen and you can't explain it. About like three days ago, I'm just chilling in my house and I walk outside to go to work and I just, there's two random kids in my driveway just slap boxing. I've never met these kids in my life, just two, two random kids. Uh, one time I was like home alone, right? And I was playing Fortnite. My dog started barking, so I got kind of creeped out because I was home alone, and I walked to the back door, and there's just a random old lady standing at my back door, just staring in my door. So I asked her like, if she knocked on the door, front door or anything, she didn't respond to me. And then she just walked away and got in her car and left. Can't explain that one. I wouldn't feel safe in that house. Me neither. <laughs> Probably a time where I pulled up to my friend's Noah house, but I just go hang out, hang out with a bunch of friends, and I saw some people laying in the driveway, uh, so one time I was in Rehoboth, you know, big beach town. There are these big trash cans. So I was down there with Kevin Lewandowski one time. You know, really tall. He's, I think he's Polish. I'm not sure, but he's really good looking. So he was down there. You know those trash cans that are like chest height, like really, really tall. We were just walking and he hurdles, hurdles them. Like he just, he jumps, he doesn't touch them. He doesn't touch them at all. He just jumps straight over them. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was That's like a gazelle, or one of those African deer. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. And he did it like three other times besides that. And he was like, hey, watch, watch this. He got three women's <laughs> numbers that day. I got off the bus, and I was on my way home, because like, there's a long stretch of road before I get to my house. And it was, it was a very chilly day. And it was like, I had to go through two yards because one is the Savinis. And these are very nice people, but apparently they're evil because um, I went through the yard as I usually do to get to my house. And there was an entire severed goat leg. It's a tough one, but I, this one's probably the craziest. I uh, walked down my friend's basement and there was a pretzel rod, and it wasn't where it was uh, supposed to be. That's all I can say. You know, like school related, one of the craziest things I've ever seen is I give students study guides, and they don't use them, and they aren't successful in the test, and it blows my mind. I found, uh, I found probably like 500 plastic utensils from school under my brother's bed. So, that's probably it. Why does he need those? I don't. It's fair. Yeah. Maybe he's digging his way out. 
Thanks for watching the Cape Report. Here are today's birthdays and have a great Cape Day. Like.